Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, a gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. In today's video, we are going to continue with our series devoted to viewer questions. Thank you again to all of the viewers who have uh, commented via the channel and have given suggestions for video topics. Today's video topic was suggested by viewer Luna, who had questions about IUD strings. So questions being, how do I check my IUD strings? Um, do I need to check my IUD strings? Is this actually necessary? Um, so in today's video, we are going to address that question. Now, one thing that I want to emphasize is that the IUD strings are designed that on a day-to-day -day basis, neither you nor your partner should be bothered by the strings or be able to feel the strings um, either sort of just walking around existing or during um, intercourse. So just to give you an example of the strings, um, it's difficult to even show them um, so that the camera picks it up. They're very, very fine um, and uh, very flexible. Um, so designed not to be bothersome if inadvertently touched or poked during intercourse. Um, but by that same token, because the the strings are quite thin. Sometimes it can be a little bit um, difficult to check. So I'm gonna walk through some of the steps. First, I'm gonna talk about why would someone want to check the IUD position and why are we uh, checking the strings um, as a measure of checking the IUD position. So there is about a two to 10% chance of what's called IUD expulsion, or the IUD actually falling out or shifting out of place. Uh, and for a very, very detailed video regarding IUD expulsion, I'd refer you to my video number 24. Um, so that can happen that the IUD can shift out of position or may fall out. Um, and that's part of why we're, we're doing checks on the IUD uh, in the form of checking for strings. Now, the commonest window for IUD expulsion is generally within the first three months. Um, so some physicians recommend that being the critical window for checking IUD strings uh, and might recommend that IUD strings be checked monthly um, during that time interval. Um, however, it's not impossible for an IUD to fall out even after that three month period. So other obstetrician gynecologists may actually suggest that on a monthly basis or on a somewhat regular basis that you determine that you do continue to periodically check the IUD strings uh, for as long as you're using the IUD. Now, the number one way that in my office IUD strings are checked are actually with a visit with me in the office a month after the IUD insertion process, so or roughly a month afterwards. And I actually myself in the office am doing an internal exam where I myself feel for the strings or may use a speculum uh, to actually look for the strings. Um, so that's one way of checking IUD strings is obviously via your physician. Now, in terms of checking IUD strings on your own at home, um, I was struggling with trying to think of exactly how to show you to do this, but it's really more of a, it's not a visual procedure. The procedure is done by feel. So um, I'm just going to describe it and I'll use the aid of my little model here, which is a uterus um, with an IUD in. And it's again, very, very hard to even see the very, very small strings there. But basically the idea is to um, make sure that your hands are clean. So wash your hands. Some patients might elect to do this in the bathtub or in the shower as they're washing. Um, but make sure your hands are clean and using either your index finger or your middle finger, you're basically reaching into the vagina. You might have to go actually quite high to actually feel the, the tip of the cervix. Um, this represents the tip of the cervix. Now the tip of the cervix will be quite firm, sort of almost the consistency like the tip of your nose. So if you reach up and you feel something sort of hard and rubbery, that's likely the cervix. And so then you would just feel along the surface of the cervix, either for just feeling the threads against the cervix or feeling the threads coming out of the cervix. Sometimes you might be actually 
able to touch the strings on their tips like that. Other times the strings may be sort of pushed to one side and the other. And so you may, sorry, this keeps shifting. So you may only feel sort of the edges of the strings against the cervix. Um, now, what I want to emphasize is if you don't feel those strings initially on your first try of checking your strings, don't panic. It doesn't necessarily mean that the IUD has has shifted or that the strings are missing. Again, sometimes because the strings just curl up and they can sort of tuck so that their edges are tucked way up high in the upper corner of the vagina. Um, they can be harder to actually palpate or feel in that position. Um, sometimes strings can actually, the ends may sort of travel up within the cervical canal and I can't make this do this, but um, basically they, they sort of sneak up so that the, the IUD is still in position and working, but the strings themselves are sort of hidden within the cervical uh, cavity. If that happens, uh, it doesn't mean that the IUD isn't working. Um, it does mean that you would probably have to have a check with your doctor to make sure things are in good position. Um, if I have a patient where the strings aren't visible, then usually as a double check, we'll do an ultrasound to confirm that the IUD is still in position. Um, and as I go through in my IUD removal video, having strings that are lost in this fashion or hidden within the cervical canal does not necessarily mean that there's gonna be huge problems in terms of removing the IUD. Um, so more on that issue in the IUD re uh, removal uh, video that I've done previously. Um, a couple other points about checking strings. Um, note that when you check the strings, they are not going to um, feel like tampon strings. So it's different than that. Be very careful that you're not pulling on the strings. The idea is that we don't want to inadvertently actually pull out the IUD, so be very cautious of that. Um, in terms of positioning um, for being able to best reach the cervix and do all of this, some um, literature suggests that actually doing this in a squatted position may actually help you get the positioning um, of being able to reach the cervix. But again, I will emphasize that if you've tried this and you aren't able to either reach the cervix or feel the strings, don't panic. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean problems. Depending on a patient's anatomy, it may actually be difficult um, to feel the cervix depending on the angle of the cervix and the angle of the uterus. Uh, and again, the, the uh, thin threads are they're very very thin and sometimes can be hard to miss with your fingers so if you're not feeling the strings don't automatically pa panic now in terms of uh, addressing the question do I have to have my strings checked um, is it absolutely necessary or for how long do I have to check the strings um, now, what I tend to tell my patients is that, of course, they will have a one month follow up visit with me to check the strings. Um, the vast majority of my patients are usually electing on levonorgestrel IUDs, so uh, the hormonal IUD like Kylina or Marina, and most of those patients are noticing menstrual side effects, so usually a lessening of menstrual bleeding, a lessening of menstrual cramping. So usually they have the added benefit of these menstrual symptoms to be able to alert them if something was amiss with the IUD or if it had shifted out of position. So for example, I mentioned to patients that if all of a sudden you go from having very, very light or in some cases non-existent uh, cycles on uh, Marina or Kylina, and then all of a sudden sort of without explanation, your cycles are much heavier um, or much crampier than they were previously, then that might be a sign that the IUD has shifted out of position and that would be a reason to go ahead and check for the strings. Um, and if you weren't able to feel the strings or if there were ongoing problems uh, with regards to bleeding, um, then that would be a reason to see your doctor. Um, in terms of, so the bottom line is for those using hormonal IUDs, most often your menstrual cycle bleeding pattern is going to be telling you that the IUD is still in place and doing its job and that's added reassurance. So it may be less necessary to actually uh, check the strings. In some clinics, they may recommend seeing 
a physician on an annual basis for uh, string checks. That's sort of one option, but is not necessarily um, mandatory. Um, one thing I wanted to mention as well, that if you are reaching up into the cervix and are um, feeling for the strings, and instead of feeling just strings, you actually your finger is bumping up against this hard portion here, the actual stem of the IUD. If you feel something hard and plastic there, that could be um, a sign of partial expulsion or the IUD on its way to leaving the uterus um, and being out of position, in which case the IUD may not be functioning appropriately. Um, so the bottom line is you need to book an appointment to see your physician right away to have that assessed. Um, and definitely to use backup contraception um, until that visit, um, until you're reassured as to what's going on with your IUD and whether or not it's in the right position. And actually, as a general comment, I would also emphasize that in any situation where something's going on and you're worried because of whatever symptoms you're having, uh, whether it be things that you're finding when you're feeling for the strings, whether it be um, a dramatic change in your menstrual bleeding, if it's new spotting or new pain with intercourse, if something's going on and you're worried that the IUD might be out of position, definitely use backup contraception uh, in the form of condoms, for example. Uh, definitely use backup contraception until you have the opportunity to get into the doctor to have things checked out. One other comment that I wanted to add uh, with regards to checking the strings and the length of the strings. So every physician has their own sort of length that they'll cut the strings to. Um, on average, we usually do it about two or two and a half centimeters um, from the outer edge of the cervix. So that's typically what the length of the strings are. Um, and in terms of checking the length, perhaps knowing the exact length of your strings is less important or not really possible per se. Um, but if you notice a dramatic change from one check to the next, so um, if all of a sudden the strings are feeling uh, quite a bit longer than they had been previously, then that would be um, significant. So for a very first check, you can't really say, oh, it's three centimeters and not two centimeters and it's too long. It's not as precise um, to check that way. Um, but if you're noticing from one check to the other, uh, a dramatic change in the strings, either not able to feel the strings anymore, the strings being much shorter, or if the strings are dramatically longer than they were previously, then that might be um, a reason to book an appointment with your physician to have things uh, more formally checked. So um, that was just a brief video talking about some general concept concepts about uh, checking the IUD strings um, and whether or not that's necessary. I hope this has been helpful. If after watching the video, you still have questions about this, feel free to ask the questions uh, in the comment section. And uh, again, uh, would welcome any suggestions from viewers out there in terms of other possible video topics uh, regarding uh, contraception and intrauterine contraception. And thanks again to Luna for suggesting this video topic. So that's all for today's video. I will end uh, as I always do by reminding you that in less than the time that it took to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted. The whole thing takes usually about five minutes and provides up to five years of worry-free contraception. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.